ultra-woke weirdos have tried to hijack this young girl's moment of triumph, a truly great triumph, by virtue signalling. But why have they decided to do this on what should have been an absolute British celebration? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. This is just a quick video really to let you know exactly what's happening over here in England as we celebrate that wonderful, wonderful victory for a marvellous young lady who's done so well at such a young age. We're talking, of course, Emma Ramdekanu and, of course, the fact that she's won such an amazing victory. But more so, of course, that she was thrilled to find out that Her Majesty the Queen had written to her. Now, I don't know if you agree with this particular side of the story, but I thought this was wonderful. Emma basically said that she's now planning to frame that letter that she received from Her Majesty the Queen, which proves to me, of course, that lots of people say the royal family do not transage ages, etc. Of course they do. Now, can you imagine being 18 and receiving a letter from Her Majesty? How wonderful, on top of exactly what you've just achieved worldwide. Not only that, it looks like this particular young lady will also be receiving an award. How long to before she becomes day member? I hope so, because she thoroughly deserves it. So what's really gone wrong with certain sections of our particular society here in the United Kingdom? Well, it all kicked off with our esteemed mayor, Sadiq Khan. Now, not only did he manage to spell this young lady's name wrong in his official tweet, but then he went on to say this. Mr Khan tried to stoke the fire of virtue signaling by basically claiming, of course, that Emma started life being born in Canada, moved to London at the age of two with her parents and, of course, with a great helping hand and lots of support being a diverse city. This is what can be achieved. Now, a lot of people have read into this particular tweet that, of course, he's creating division. Now, whatever your feelings are, it does seem strange that as the Mayor of London, he simply couldn't just say, well done and the best of British to you, Emma. Why did he need to turn it into a political statement? But he wasn't the only one. Step forward an alleged comedian who appears regularly on one of our breakfast shows over here, although it's little watched, GMB. And Adol Ray, who, as I say, claims to be a comedian, but there's very little evidence of that so far. He basically went a stage further and said this. Adol then said, get in there, Emma and grand slam the haters. Well, from where we're standing here in the United Kingdom, there was no hatred. There was absolute adoration for this wonderful young girl who's done so much. So it does make you wonder, these people who are in mainstream media and positions of power, does it suit their narrative more, of course, if they can create this sort of animosity, this division between people? I, for one, know where we all stand, of course, and we are behind our gracious Majesty the Queen. I was so thrilled for Emma. She looked absolutely bewildered at winning, but what a wonderful moment as well, and a moment in history. We've had a great year of sport. All of those things should, of course, be celebrated, and it shouldn't matter where you came from, how you started. As ever, it's where you're going and what you achieve. Here in the United Kingdom, whatever people say, we're a very welcoming country and we celebrate success, particularly homegrown success. From everyone here watching this channel today, Emma, we truly salute you and thank you for such a brilliant victory. Neil Sean in the heart of London.